Hey, hey, Seedling! Welcome back to Seeds. Week three. Uh, I've been in this chair forever. Same verses, that's right. <laughs> Wait, you got, you got... Same clothes again. You know what's really funny is that people, you know, if they really pay attention to all the videos, the, the, we like, all look the same. They'll, they'll know like how long and what videos we did on the same day type of thing. Especially with you, because you rarely wear the same clothes twice on Thursdays. No, so ever, the rest of us, I look the same. I just pull whatever's out. That's but, true. <laughs> but everybody else, so so they can look at this. They'll be like, holy cow, Summer did like five episodes of Seeds and Ten Words. And one and day. Mel in the middle and three reflections. and <laughs> They overwork her. Yeah. Don't worry. She's it's... getting a raise. Okay. Quadruple of whatever she's making right now. <laughs> yes. Very good. There we go. All right, so we're gonna talk about sanctuary cities. Do De- oh yeah, by the way, Deuteronomy 19. We, you know, I'm just assuming you've been here this whole time, but <laughs> you right. may probably haven't been here this whole time. Nope. We were in Deuteronomy 19 talking about uh, really the first two verses and uh, God cutting off the nations, giving the land away, and then uh, telling these guys to um, make some sanctuary cities for people that slay people. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's funny because we talked about we said first like God cuts you off mm-hmm. after you uh, you know I don't want to say you screw up too much but kind of because you screw up too much yeah um, you screw up too much and you don't turn to him you turn away from him over and over and you don't you don't want any parts of God so he's like all right we're done time's up and then you know last week you talked about how uh he gives away your stuff. Right. Right? Yeah. What so if he gives away your stuff? Messed up. You turn around. Um, in this case, it's land he gives away. Um, but I think it's funny, like, who he gives it to. Yeah. Right? Because we would assume and we would say, well, you know, he gives it to all the good Christians. Yeah. Yeah, the good people right? get it. Right. They, they, I, I cut off the nations and I gave you this this promised land. Because you deserve it. Right. Woohoo. Right? So, but then on top of that, then they're, then they're, then he's making these special safe places for the bad guys. The bad, bad guys, yeah. The bad, bad guys to be protected. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking about like how ironic that is and how. It's like the exact opposite of what we would think and like how people look at that and how the enemy will make you look at that, right? Like and how, I don't know, I'm just thinking about now and this happening now, right? And how there would be a remnant and land given to this remnant and then, you know, like what are those people going to look like? Yeah. Who are those people going to be? And are we all going to stand around and be like, really? You're not good enough to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, like... I, I don't know. I, I'm just... You need help. You're going to get stuck. We're going to get stuck on this and never get past. You realize yeah. that, right? Again? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I love the thought process, right? Uh, it, it, because it's just how we work, right? We do what makes sense to us. And we mm-hmm. look around and we think, hey, this, uh, this doesn't make sense to us. Or we deserve this, or mm-hmm. we're better than them mm-hmm. for this, or we've earned this, or we're we have a right to this. All of these kind of things, that kind of thinking in God's economy, doesn't go very far. It's not what God's economy is all about. Mm-hmm. We need to be really, really careful. Back that up and say, listen, God does what He pleases. This is where you are. <laughs> well, he does. I, I think about multiple things. Like I'm, I'm thinking about the the word here that's used and who he's talking about, and I'm, I'm thinking about like. It's funny because I was in another conversation earlier with someone who did something really bad today, and uh, to someone, and the other person did something bad but not as bad, yeah. right? And I said like, in God's eyes, you're even. Right? Like, so, I don't know. We say, like, God does what he, what he wants, but weren't these, uh, these were these were people that killed people, like, accidentally? Yep. That, this is manslaughter. Right? Manslaughter. It wasn't, like, murderers, crazy, you know. Yep. Barabbas kind of people. It mm-hmm. was, like, nope, this was... oh, I accidentally hit you with my car. <laughs> exactly. Or my chariot, actually. And then, uh, whoopsies, you're dead. Yep. And we don't want to look at the commandments and be like, oh, well, you know, death for death, so you die for, because of an accident. Mm-hmm. Um, so, 
I don't know. I, again, I, I just I just think it's interesting how we rank things, and God knows, so he sets up these things to be like, no, listen, like, yeah, they killed someone. Mm-hmm. And accident or not, like, I love them, I'm going to protect them, I'm going to take care of them. Again, until they're, like, they're not in some special miracle land where they cannot be then cut off mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. later, you know, it, it's just, he's saying like you know this is this is for my judgment. They don't don't kill them, so, <laughs> you know. Right. So God God makes it very clear in this that it's about intentions. Right. right? Your heart. If, if you go, you know, he uses the story. If you go out with a guy with an axe in the woods and something happens, right? <laughs> and and you didn't have any hatred in your heart before this you didn't have any intentions of something happened but you chopped down the tree and it fell on your friend right right still dead right he's still dead right his family's going to react just as if you did it on purpose right right but i know the intent so i'm going to right. make provision for that right well and how many people would just say oh it's an accident then right you really wanted to kill people right, right. like so cain you, you have this whole thing going on where God seemingly says, like, let me sift through the intent. I'll, I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Right? So if they get to the city, you know, the, the, the ironic part about this is they have to have all this happen and then run to the city before someone catches them. Right? So before, well, yeah, before then they, they get them. there. Right. So, but, eye for an eye. But you have to do something active in this whole thing. God's like, you've got to be a proponent of yourself. You, you've got to be... Getting to this city, I'm going to make it so that if you get here, you're going to be able to live, right? He, he makes provision for people who are refugees, mm-hmm. right? Now, that's a huge hot topic right now. I probably will get this flagged, right, type of thing. But that's <laughs> no. not, we're talking Maybe about, not by the time it comes out. <laughs> we've been talking about, though, what's the responsibility of a person in this case, right? They have to know that they met no intent. They have to know that they're in a good place with God. Right. Right? And then they have to run to what God has set up, where God has set it up to be a part of what God is now doing for them. We, we want to just go in our house, close the doors. You know, we don't want to lose everything. We don't want to have to run away. We don't want to, we don't want to give anything up, right? If God is calling you to a place of refuge right now, right, you need to, you have to be willing to go. You have to be willing to leave everything and get to a place of refuge. I think, right, those times are coming. Well, yeah, it's like in Revelation, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Where he's like, uh, yeah, don't don't take time to grab stuff out of your house. Like, yeah. go flee to the mountains or whatever it says. Yeah. Like, you know. Get to Sucks where to be you if it's winter or if you have a baby or if all this because you gotta you gotta hightail it like when God says hustle you better hustle like that's like yikes we've said several times in the last few days seconds matter in God's economy right and and I'm not mm-hmm. I'm like oh Andy, you're over exaggerating all this stuff and right the mm. truth of the matter is think of Life how many death. times a day seconds matter you would not many. have ran into this person you would not have done this or this or this or this or this if you hadn't done this for three seconds, if you hadn't done this for three seconds, so if you hadn't had to wait in line at the bathroom for a minute, like you wouldn't have missed this person, right? right? I was just at a concert a, a, a couple of months ago where that was the case, ran into somebody. If I hadn't had to go go to the bathroom over here, you had chosen to do that, I would have right. missed that person, yeah. right? So again, places of refuge. God has places of refuge for you mm-hmm. and for I. It's a basic seed, right, of God's thing. Like, hey, seek me while I can be found. Run to me. Find me. I will I will answer, right? We want to make sure that those kind of things that we're setting ourselves up, that we're yep. recognizing our need for it, and then we're doing it. Yeah, so uh, don't wait and don't judge who's there with you because you're there too. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see what we got next week. Maybe we'll read some more verses in Deuteronomy 19. Maybe. I don't know. Could be. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great week.